Coming up, I'll show you the work we're doing in SharePoint to streamline collaboration across multiple teams, including intelligent notifications and organization in our mobile apps, amplifying your SharePoint news posts using Microsoft Teams, and personalizing your team homepage and site using common organizational standards. With Office 365, we're making it faster and easier for you to create groups for team collaboration. SharePoint team sites enable the files, lists, and web pages that make team members productive. For many of us, teamwork is how we get our job done, but it can be hard to keep up when you're part of multiple projects. We see active Office 365 groups users participating in five or more groups each week, which means having to spread your attention across many places. So let me first show you some of the updates we're working on for our SharePoint mobile app, available on iOS, Android, and Windows 10 mobile. These improvements make it easier for you to work across your Office 365 groups and enjoy a personalized, focused experience. You're just a tap away from the content that matters most to you. Here I am on my iPhone. One of the challenges in a large organization is making sure the right content is available to the right people at the right time. Here, SharePoint is letting me know that Navjot has requested access to my document. I know Navjot, and I understand why she needs to work with this file. We'll be adding the ability to simply tap Approve right here from the lock screen so I can unblock her as quickly as possible. We'll use the intelligence of the Microsoft Graph to bring the most relevant and actionable information to your phone using real-time notifications to make sure you don't miss important updates. Here's another example. SharePoint recognizes that since Jeff is the vice president of my team, I should be notified when he has news to share. Team News is a recent feature of SharePoint that allows team members to highlight the most important updates by creating a polished page that people can read on the team site home, the organization-wide SharePoint home, and on mobile devices. But we know you can't always stop what you're doing to immediately read new posts coming in, so you can use the new bookmark feature to flag items to read later. When you're ready to catch up on your reading, you'll go to a new tab that we call My SharePoint. We bring together both an intelligently generated collection of recent content you've been working with, as well as those items you bookmarked. One of the signals we use to decide what content to highlight is popularity, how many other people have viewed it. For example, you can see in my list of recent items is a news post that I published earlier. SharePoint is showing me how many people have viewed it since then. I meant this news post to inspire thought and interaction across my organization. With 22 views, it's telling me it's mostly been my own team members who've read it so far. That lets me know I should drive more awareness of this news post by bringing it to where my colleagues are having their most active chats in Microsoft Teams. Let's now look at the experience that we're enabling in desktop web browsers, including the work we're doing to make it easier to find the content that's relevant to you. This is Microsoft Teams, a chat-based workspace for Office 365. My SharePoint site and my Microsoft team are connected to the same Office 365 group, so they share a common list of members and a common set of files stored in SharePoint. It's easy to start a group chat here about my news post. We'll be adding rich previews of SharePoint content to help engage and encourage discussion. And I know that the news post and our chat will be available for everyone else in the group to read and contribute to as needed, even if they're joining midstream. I'm going to go to the SharePoint site that's part of the same Project Tahoe group, where I can really focus on the content we're working on together. This is my site's homepage, designed to help discover what's most relevant to the collaboration between participants in this group. Up top, we have those news posts that call attention to important updates across the team. Below that, we've got a mix of intelligent suggestions in the activity view, showing us what's recently been updated in this group. There's been a lot of activity on this document library, so let's look closer and see what's going on. My team is using this library to organize our worldwide marketing plans. We've got thousands of items we have to keep track of, and we use custom columns and metadata to stay organized. We're designing SharePoint to make it easier than ever to find and focus on the content you need when you need it, with the addition of a new Filters pane to navigate through all that metadata. I can use the Filters pane to narrow down to the items I specifically am looking for. In this case, documents written by Henrietta that are in the approved state about the Central American region. And just like that, we found the document we're looking for out of thousands in this list. So you can see how adding custom columns helps you to organize your lists and libraries. One of the things that's always made SharePoint so productive is that team members and owners can make the site work the way they need it to. Now let me show you a few other ways owners can tune SharePoint to work best for their members' needs. The site's homepage is configurable, so I can highlight the information that's most relevant to us. Let's make some space up top here using our new multi-column layout, and then add in a view of our team calendar to remind everyone of our upcoming events. Because we're using Office 365 groups, we get a shared calendar powered by Exchange, with the same meetings viewable here and in Outlook. Direct integration with our Power BI web part means I can highlight our key performance indicators from our Power BI dashboard right here on the homepage, so it's easier to keep track of our progress side by side with our calendar. I'll add a report 
And when I save my changes, I've got all the information that matters most to my team right here on the home page. The site's navigation is editable too. And we've made it easier to include links to other Office 365 group applications. My team has started using Planner. So I'll click right here to add a link to our plan so it's easy for us to all get to. And I'm excited to announce that we'll be refreshing the way we apply custom styling and colors to SharePoint sites. As a site owner, I'm just a few clicks away right here from this gear, from seeing the available themes my IT administrator has chosen to provide for our organization. And I can quickly see how this theme will look on my site. We'll also be making it easier for SharePoint administrators to expand what options users get when they create their own new team sites. This means that as a user, when I click Create Site from here on SharePoint Home, I'll have the option to pick the specific site design that matches the needs for the team I'm creating, whether it's the default design provided by Microsoft or a custom one built by my company. There's also so much more that team members can do to make SharePoint work the way they need it to, with zero coding, using Microsoft Flow and Power Apps to build business processes and interactive forms. You can learn more from watching our Microsoft Mechanics overview on the topic here. Additionally, developers can use our new SharePoint framework to customize how data is shown in lists and libraries, add commands and actions on items, and add content to the header of pages. There's another Microsoft Mechanics video covering that. Now, I've shown you the value that SharePoint libraries, pages, and lists bring to team collaboration as part of Office 365 groups. It's also important to us that we don't leave your existing sites behind. We're extending this rich experience to existing sites your teams have been using over the past few years. To start, document libraries and lists will automatically show your existing content in the new user experience. Here's a site with an older style homepage showing documents. But you can see, when I click through to the full document library, we show you the same documents, but with the modern experience, including the filters pane you saw earlier. And while we don't convert existing pages to the new UX, you can create new pages right here from the gear by clicking Add a Page. Let me give this page a title, and I'll use our new highlighted content web part to fill out the page. And just like that, I can save and publish my new modern page. I like this page so much, I want to make it the home page for my site. So let's go ahead and do that here from the Pages Library. We'll find our page we created, right click, and say Make Home Page. And just like that, this will now be the default landing page for everyone who comes to my site. Today, I'm also happy to share that we'll soon be offering a way to connect existing team sites to the full Office 365 Groups experience. I can take an existing team site like this one and choose to create a new Office 365 Group. We'll reuse all the existing settings and permissions to make it easy for this set of people to keep using their site, but with the benefit of a group conversation, calendar, planner, and more. And if you'd like, we'll even give you a beautiful new homepage. So that was an overview of the work that we're doing to give you a more personalized, focused user experience across your Office 365 groups and SharePoint team sites on mobile and desktop platforms. You can take advantage of many of the features I've shown today by creating a new Office 365 group from SharePoint Home and connecting your peers using Microsoft Teams, highlighting important updates by authoring news posts, and using it all on the go with the SharePoint mobile app. Notifications, theming, and custom site designs will be available later this year. Until then, let SharePoint team sites help your team do good work and look good doing it. Thanks for watching.